Bueno, bueno amigos, entonces estamos acá en la ciudad de Difuniac, en donde encontré una tienda de coleccionismo que en verdad es un correo, es un correo, es un UPS, el famoso UPS, pero resulta que el dueño de, de la tienda es un coleccionista, pero de gran nivel. Y esta tienda que tenemos aquí atrás, déjame ver, sí, es esa, <risa> es donde vamos a hacer un recorrido cortito a ver qué sale, a ver con qué nos encontramos. La verdad es que vengo de otra tienda, de un lugar que se llama, eh, es un pound shop aquí en los Estados Unidos, que sería esos lugares eh, que vas a empeñar, una casa de empeño, no me salía. Bueno, no había nada que me guste, pero ellos me dijeron, oh, chequea el correo. Yo digo, ¿el correo? Y me dicen, sí, sí, anda el correo que tiene cosas de las que vos estás mencionando. Bueno, a ver, no tengo nada que hacer, vamos a chequear. Y así que vine, abrí la puerta y ay, ay, ay. Con lo cual vamos a dar una vueltita por acá, los invito a que se queden, chequeen conmigo y ya saben lo que voy a decir ahora, acompáñenme. Bueno, eh, all right, my friend, Marcus, thank you for being on the video. Thank you. Eh, amigos, esta vez voy a estar en modo así selfie porque la camarógrafa estrella está en la casa, no está con nosotros y voy a ir cambiando de inglés a español. So, Marcus, this is definitely a, a very different kind of UPS store. What a huge collection. And this, this is all your personal collection, right? Yes, it is. Okay, okay. I would like you to explain us what you have, some of your, your most unique items. How did you get it? I started when I was a kid in the 80s and then... Uh, As I get older, you know, the more expensive the toys get. So I just try to get stuff I didn't get when I was a kid. So um, I've been collecting for over 40 years now. Let's take a look at your some of your items. First, you don't sell anything, right? No, I do sell stuff. I have oh, you sell? A small little area there, but yeah, mostly my uh, my collection started out growing my house, so I just moved it up here. <laughs> And is this is this all the stuff you have, or you have more in your no, house? No, I have more. I have stuff in the back. I have sheds full of it. I mean, I've oh. got a lot of stuff. You came in, you saw the Godzilla. That's a Shogun Warriors Godzilla from, I believe, 77, 78. Yeah, this is it. And it's, uh, it's complete. I see it's not damaged at all. Nope. It has complete feats, which is hard to find. Right. Uh, and not missing, not, yeah, it's not missing anything. Nope. Actually, the, the hands are, are in there, nails are intact, and some of the pieces that is usually broken is the little red uh, pin there. Pretty, pretty cool. Where did you get it? Uh, a customer from Japan actually brought it into me. He, we talked about Godzilla, and I talked about this is one of the uh, Holy Grails I didn't get as a child. So he brought it in to me one day, and I gave him like $50 for it. $50? Yeah. When was that? It was a few years ago. So you bought for $50 a yeah. piece that is probably five, five, six hundred today. Yep. <laughs> pretty awesome, pretty yeah. awesome. And uh, what about this uh, Lucky helmet? Is it really signed by the character? It is. There's Tom Hiddleston, there's me in the middle, and there's Paul Bettany who played Vision. Man, pretty I, cool. I met them at MegaCon in Orlando. MegaCon in Orlando. Oh, I went to the MegaCon, yeah. Yeah? Yeah, yeah, not that one. Uh, not sure what year was this, this one. This is last year. Last, yeah, I went to yeah. two years back. Oh, yeah. pretty awesome, man. It was in March. And I see you have uh, the Hellboy hand. Right-handed doom, yeah. I think it's like a hard ceramic. Oh, it's hard. Yep. Oh. And you can I put don't want to touch. No, it's cool. It comes off. And you can put it oh, on. You can, you, you can wear it. Yeah. Oh my gosh, look at that. <laughs> yeah, they made this back around when uh, the movie came out. I yeah. was going to get Pearlman to sign it because he was at Pensacon last year, but unfortunately I couldn't make it because of death of the family. But he'll come back around. I'll get him to sign it. These are what I first started buying. These are from 1984 from when I was a kid. These are 40-year-old Secret War figures. And the ones that we are seeing now, are these the ones that you got uh, when you were a kid? Yep, when I was 10. Oh, yeah, you gosh. still see the price tags on some of them. Four dollars. Yep. And uh, what is the value today? That symbiote Spider-Man is probably $300. Other Spider-Man's probably $200. I assume that's the price graded or not graded? Not great. Not great. Not great. Yeah. Oof. But they're in pretty good cards. Man, this this is this is awesome. And then uh, you look up there. I have a Magneto and an Iron Man that are unpunched. That's awesome. And then there's a 
I've yet to hang up my Baron Zemo over there. Right here. Yep. This is an original print from Bill Swinek. I think that's pronouncing his name right. Uh, the guy did New Mutants. He created Warlock and a couple other characters. That's an original print he did. These are some of my more expensive graded comics. This is a 1966 Fantastic Four a Jack Kirby. Mm -hmm. Graded 9.4. That's worth about six grand. Look at this is Spider Man. Yeah, these wow. are, um, I believe these are Sideshow. I can't remember, but there's about $1,500 a piece. These are high quality um, ceramic. Same with, uh, with Venom? Yep. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. I love it, man. This is a 1980 Spider-Man pinball. Took me a long time to find one like this in good condition. This was made by Goatlib back in 1980, which was a subsidiary of Columbia Pictures. Uh, unfortunately, now there's only one company that makes pinballs anymore, and that's Stern. But it was very hard to find this in uh, con good condition. It works. Oh, it, it works? Yeah, it works. Así que como ven, amigos, esto funciona. Remind me the year? 1980. Esto es de Y yep. funciona, y funciona, acá está el año. Series 80. Wow. Wow. And here you have a, uh, this is what, uh, 1982 Popeye? 1982 82. Popeye. <laughs> uh, a lot of people don't know, Nintendo wanted to make a Popeye game before they wanted to make a Donkey Kong game, and King Features would not give them the rights to it. So they made Donkey Kong, and once Donkey Kong was a success, of course, King Features said you can make a Popeye game, and they made this uh, the next year, so. When did you get this one? I got this about two years ago from a guy in Jacksonville. My orig original Nintendo games from when I was a kid. And if you look far back right corner, that is an original Nintendo. That is the first one that ever came out with Rob the Robot. Yep, I can see it. Yep. I can see it's it. It's boxed. It, it's boxed. The box from here looks like brand new. Yeah, it no has scratches. all the styrofoam inlays and everything. How many NES you games do you have there? Um, Probably close to 100. Oof. And I see you collect also on Nintendo 64. Yeah, I'm a huge Nintendo fan. I named my youngest daughter Zelda after the game. Oh, you have the Nintendo Switch, Zelda edition. Oh, man. And a lot of more arcades. Yep. What do you have in here? I see X-Men's. That's an X-Men from 91, I believe. Marvel yeah. Super Heroes, Captain America and Avengers, Donkey Kong, uh, the Spider-Man game, which is super rare, made from Sega. Uh, that was 1991. And then uh, Turtles in Time, which is the sequel to the original Turtles, uh, which is a more rare game yeah. from 1991. Man, this is, this is a powerful corner here <laughs> yeah and then there's you know pictures from various cons that's the cast of screen yeah Matthew Lillard and Jamie Kennedy and Skeet Aldrich and Rose McGowan that is Michael Myers yeah and that is uh PJ Souls who was in the first Halloween movie the one that was strangled by the telephone cord and I see more games in here yeah I got these in the other day I haven't been able to price them out or anything but you know an original box Net Metroid some early Sega games, Life Force, another Sega game, another Sega game. Wow. So this is for this is for you or you're selling it? I'm probably going to sell these. I just haven't priced them yet. There's a uh, this wow. is missing the game, but it has the map in it. Wow, miren muchachos, todos estos juegos en caja. Voy a agarrar. Can I grab one? Yeah, go ahead. Voy a agarrar. Yo sé que este hay algunos acá que les van a volar la cabeza. A ver qué es esto. Dragon Warrior, la caja te impecable, muchachos. Impecable. All run the Sega Master System. Mira este Metroid en caja. 
acá está impecable. Ahí abajo tiene un poquitito, pero mira lo que es esto. Ay, ay, ay. Bueno, le voy a preguntar a ver si me averigua los precios de cuánto quiere por estas cosas. A ver si me llevo algún recuerdito y saco algo más positivo de este huracán que nos está molestando. Me da esa Manquest. Qué hermoso. Qué hermoso. Uf, mira qué lindo. Me mata que está en la caja. Tiene sus manuales. A ver qué más hay. Es un Atari game. Yeah. Oh, mira lo que hay acá. NES, right? Uh -huh. Batman para NES en su cajita. Ay, yo me quiero llevar todo el cajón este. Pero este cajón te digo que tiene. Tiene bastantes cifras. Acá hay de Sega Genesis. This is a rare NES top loader. It looks like a Super Nintendo, but it is it is an NES. They came out with this in 93 to bring back attention to the NES. It was only $50. It came with these dog bone controllers, which look like uh, SNES controllers, yep. but they're Nintendo ones. I have a box and everything, but like I was saying, I used to sell real estate. I sold this elderly lady's house. She didn't have any family. I was moving her. I saw this thing in the corner of a room, asked her what she was doing with it, and she gave it to me for just helping her. Wow. Yeah. So. And I see. And I see you have a Sega Genesis yep, next to the a, Nintendo. That's a, that's a... So I have to ask you, Sega or Nintendo? Nintendo. <laughs> Nintendo. Nintendo. Well, and why? Why Nintendo? That's what I grew up with. Okay, cool. That's cool, what cool, I grew cool. up with. Yeah. Then I got these games that I you know, play sometimes. That's Gunsmoke, yeah. Mega Man 3. Miren este Punisher. Miren lo que es esto. Está cerradito. Tiene su acrílico protector para protegerlo. I assume this is from your... Personal collection, not selling it, but do you know the price? Uh, about three, four hundred. Three, four hundred, yeah. yeah. Nice piece, and it's complete, right? Yeah, it was yeah. one of the last games they produced on Genesis. No, oh, hermoso, hermoso. Encontramos más cosas, más cosas en esta tienda. A ver. Complete Super Mario 3 from when I was a kid. Vegas Dreams. Todo en su cajita, y todo esto es de cuando él era chico. So all of this stuff was yours when a kid. Yeah, that's complete. Wow. Tetris. Tetris completito, con cajita. Estoy seguro que más de uno está, ya se le está cayendo la baba, ¿no, muchachos? Tailspin. Tailspin. Nightmare on Elm Street. Uh, mira, se va. Uf. Hermoso. Complete Zelda. Hermoso. Wow. And that's the first printing. How do you uh, know that it's the first printing? Um, because the second ones had like uh, the gold greatest hits okay yeah okay yeah i'm learning and all this is you also selling this no 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 yeah this no. is Just showing these too off. many years with you yeah Miren muchachos esta es una figura de los halcones galácticos está cerrado en su blister y lo vende lo vende a 300 dólares y los vale, ¿eh? está impecable, impecable. ¿Can I grab it? Yeah. Se los voy a mostrar despacito. Miren lo que es, esto está impecable. Nuevo, nuevo, nuevo. Qué hermoso encontrarse con estas piezas, ¿eh? Y totalmente inesperado yo. Como saben, me estoy escapando del, del huracán y miren con lo que me encontré acá. Y encima es una tienda de correo, es un UPS. En cada rinconcito encontrás algo en este lugar, mirá. Ahí es un, la edición que hizo Mattel de Shogun Warriors de Skeletor. Y en el, bueno, el muñeco está dentro de la caja. Miren lo que es eso. Muy bueno. Esos van de los 300, 400. Hay alguno que puede pedir 500 dólares, ya está medio carito. No le pregunté el precio, no le pregunté si lo vende. Pero lindo, lindo item para una colección. This is my Game Boy from when I was a kid. I had to mow 10 lawns to buy this because it was $89. <laughs> But what's even more rare is I'll pull it down for you. Thank you. When they sold it to me, they were supposed to have taken off the warranty card and sent that in. They didn't take it off. Oh, so it's more unique. Yes. It's hard. I mean, this is your. This was your Game Boy when you were a kid. Yeah, made and, it on. Uh, you keeping the boxes in pretty brand new, pretty yeah. neat conditions. Well, yeah, I grew up an only child and broke, so. <laughs> These are what they call 
Yeah, this well, condition. I, yeah, this is before VCR. These are CEDs. They're a disc inside of the album. And when I was a kid, you'd put them in this player and the disc ejects. You never see the yeah, disc. Yeah, I said, I said disco vision, but this is not disco vision. This is a selecta vision. So, yeah, 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 yeah. But this is the Sp original Spider-Man TV show. This is like four or five episodes on this disc. So this is Spider-Man in the 70s. You have the player? Yeah, some at the house, yeah. Oh, cool. But that's what he looked like. And this is a sealed one. That's the 60s Spider-Man cartoon. That's the Ralph Batchy one. And it's sealed. Yeah, and it's sealed. What's the price of a sealed, that sealed piece? Yeah, probably about $75. I thought it was more expensive. Mm -mm. These aren't really, you would think some of these would be worth more than that, but yeah, I, I picked this up about 75 bucks. Poster de los años 80, él le quiere poner un marco, es solo un cuadro, está muy bueno. Where did you get it? Yeah, I bought it in a lot of comic books, so it was just folded up in there. And it's from the 80s. Yeah, late 80s. Eh, qué lindo, eh. Bueno, se darán cuenta, como dije, él, él va a lo serio, colecciona de verdad. Muy bueno, y me dice que tiene muchas cosas más que están guardadas en depósito y que bueno, no están acá a la vista. Pero la verdad es que acá tiene bastante. No sé si mostré allá el guante. De... Mirá. Uf. Qué bárbaro, ¿eh? Ya vimos allá todos los juegos que tiene. Un arcade. Mira. Rafael. Oh. Donatello. Leonardo. Miren esto, porque yo, o sea, voy a, 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 al detalle. Se dan cuenta que ni siquiera está roto. Este cosito que es donde generalmente se enganchan los estantes de los comercios, de las jugueterías. What is the price of the, these items? 150 a piece. Hermoso. Cada vez que agarra una caja es para volverse loco. Uh, G1 Dinobots. Yeah, that's slag, I believe. It, it is, yeah, I think it's slag. I'm slag. <laughs> bueno, si no es slag lo voy a corregir, pero creo que es slag. <laughs> Qué bruto, poca visero. <laughs> y estos son los juguetes de que él tenía cuando era chico. Miren qué lindo. Mouse is a little bit loose. Yeah. Animals. Animals. Man, every time you grow, you grow a box, you blow my mind. <laughs> I just got so much stuff. A lot of surprises. And I in run each this box. place by myself, and I forget <laughs> that I have it. Star Scream. Oh. This is a Star Scream G1, primera yeah. generación, eh? Got a little dirt on it. Esto no es, no es cosa de todos los días. Yeah. All the <laughs> stickers are still on it. Yeah. Beautiful. Yeah, I got that green luck. Lo mismo, generación 1. Wow. Miren esto, muchachos. Miren estos máscaras. Acá tenés una máscara de Godzilla. Del Godzilla de los 70. Son ediciones nuevas, ¿no? Pero igual, mira qué brutal que está. Y ahí tenés la criatura de la laguna, de la laguna negra en realidad. Ay, qué bueno que está. Si sí, mi amigo Seba de los blogs de Seba y Jess está viendo esto, se vuelve loco. Bueno, doy, seguro que lo está viendo. Seguro. Y seguro que se está volviendo loco. Mira lo que es eso, Seba. Qué brutal. La, y la de Godzilla también, ¿eh? Mira lo que es eso. El actor de El Duende Verde Bien, le firmó ahí su, su Funko Pop. Muy bueno, está lleno, lleno, lleno de coleccionables. Acá vamos a mostrar un poco de los, de los Funkos que tiene acá arriba, que como verán son muchos. Ahí también Seba y Jess se vuelven locos con los Funkos, que a ustedes les gustan mucho. Miren, está lleno. Bueno, yo estaba mostrando la pila de arriba, pero toda esta pared está llena. Miren lo que es esto. Uy, este de acá les va a gustar. Miren, todos los amantes ahí de Funko, los pop, los cabezones estos. Y estos yo no sé, no sé mucho, pero me suena que son como unas ediciones especiales. I, I, honestly, I, I know nothing about Funko Pops, but these ones look like special editions, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Ya se nota, no, yo no sé nada, discúlpenme, no me maten, pero, pero se nota ya por el tipo de caja, viene como con una especie de, no sé si era un cómic, eso de atrás, o solo un... Un fondo, pero se ve, se ve diferente, se ven mucho como más importantes. Ya. Yeah. Oh, this one. Oh, this one. Yeah. Oh, this one. Yeah. 
Oh, and it has a shirt in yeah. the box? Yeah. So this is a Target exclusive. Wow. Bueno, una pared llena, llena de estos muñecos cabezones, muchachos. ¿Qué les parece? Ren Stimpy, Ren number Stimpy. one. Look at that. Do you know the price of the Ren Stimpy? Uh, it's around 150. Yeah, because it originally came with a scratch and sniff card. Yeah. And it was poly bagged. Uh oh. Check this out, guys. Godzilla. Newsstand yep. edition. A lot of people don't know that Godzilla was part of the Marvel Universe at one time. Yeah. Yeah, it was. This is number one? Yep, number one. Yeah. 9.8 out of 10. This is an old, style, old yeah. Marvel book. This just walked in one day. That's the first appearance of Lobo. That's an old Fantastic Four. Nice. Interesting uh, story behind this. A lot oh. of people don't know that they made the very first Fantastic Four movie they ever made was made in 93 by Roger Corman. Okay. And it was so bad, Marvel would not release it. You can watch it on YouTube, but um, the guy that played Mr. Fantastic, he actually lives in Pensacola. Uh, his name's Alex Hyde White. And I have his book. Oh, so he signed look. it for me. It's in here. Este es el camino a la oficina, muchachos. No, recuerden, él trabaja acá. Ese es su escritorio. Ese es su escritorio y su silla de trabajo. This is <laughs> his book he wrote. Oh, look at you have here. The Doom. Yeah, this is MF Doom. I bought this from a guy in England. He does these prints. But this is from the late rapper MF Doom. Yeah. ¿Se acuerdan de los Godzillas? Que, del dibujito de Godzilla. Up from the depths, 30 stories high. Mírenlos, ahí está Godzilla. No recuerdo el nombre del Godzilla chiquitito, eh, que también estaba en, la, en el dibujito. Ahí están. Y me di cuenta que los dos son hechos con impresión 3D. No, no me di cuenta, están súper lindos. Y están atrás del que ya vimos antes, de ese show, un warrior masivo que está impresionante, completo, no tiene nada roto. Muy, muy guay. All right, my friend Marcus. Thank you for having us here today. Again, guys, I, I know I already, I already said this. This is a UPS store. This mm -hmm. is a place where you come with your boxes, your mails, but then look what this place is. It's a, it's a collector's place for real, right? Yeah. So Marcus, uh, thank you so much for having us again. Yeah, you can look me up on Quick Pack and Ship on Facebook or Google Quick Pack and Ship Definiac Springs. Perfecto, muchachos, de absoluta confianza. Eh, Marcus me recibió súper bien, se puso a mostrar. Como todo coleccionista, ¿no? Cuando nos hablas de lo que nos gusta, a mí me agarras en cualquier momento y empiezas a sacarte cajas y a hablar y a hablar y a hablar, ya saben cómo funciona. Así que de, de total confianza lo contactan a Marcus si vieron algo en el video que les gusta y ahí hablan con él tranquilo, dicen que van de parte del cajón retro, seguro que los va a tratar muy bien. My brother. <laughs> Thank, Thank you. you so much. Yes, sir. Yep. Bueno, amigos, miren a quién tengo acá al lado mío. <laughs> eh, video diferente, eh, video totalmente sorpresivo. No fue planificado en ningún momento. Esperé que en el contexto en el que yo grabo este video, recuerdo, y no quiero ser repetitivo y aburrido, que fue escapándome del huracán que está por pegar en, en mi ciudad. Iba a encontrar esta tienda de coleccionables acá, pero definitivamente eh, un lindo rato, eh, hermoso encontrar todas estas piezas. Me estoy llevando algunas cositas como esta máscara de de Godzilla. Si les gustó este video, ya lo saben, siempre les digo lo mismo. Me dejan un like por acá, le dejan acá al amigo Godzilla justo aquí abajito, <ríe> clic y se suscriben también. Así que nos vemos la próxima.